Hello, it's Lorraine here from the Digital Explorer. In today's video, I'm going to run through how you can set up your SiteGround email and connect it to your Gmail account. This process can be done with any hosting provider. It doesn't have to be SiteGround, so you can still follow along and it's the same steps. You simply go into your hosting provider and go into the email configurations in your cPanel and you will find the same details and follow along. The first thing we need to do is log into our SiteGround account and select websites. A list of our websites will show up on this page. You choose the website you want to connect to your Gmail account and select the box site tools. That will direct us to this page here in SiteGround. And on the left hand side, we choose email and then we choose accounts. And this is the page where you can set up your emails or you can manage your existing emails. To set up a new email, make sure you're on the correct domain name and then create a new email account. Whatever business name you want your domain name to be, you select the first characters of that and it automatically saves at the Digital Explorer or whatever your domain name is. You can make up your own password or you can get a generated one by clicking this box here and you can see the password right here which gives us an extra layer of security because it's not a password that's easily remembered. So make sure to write this down if you choose to use the one that SiteGround provides you or else you can generate a new one and copy it and save it. You click the create button and your new email will be set up within SiteGround and the list of emails you create will show up down here. So I already have support at the digitalexplorer.com over on the right hand side, there's actions. You can select this box. You can log into your webmail and you can access your emails in here. What we do then is we select the actions button and we select mail configuration. And in here we go to manual settings. These are the details you will need in order to set up your Gmail account so you can send and receive emails with your business email account. Okay, so the next step you need to log into your Gmail account, whichever account you want to connect with your SiteGround email. We select settings, see all settings, and over on the top bar here, we will go to accounts and import. And then down here, we select check mail from other accounts. Add a mail account. We add our email in here that we set up within SiteGround, which is this one right here. And press next. We don't change anything here. We keep it on this import emails from my other account and press next. And username, we put in the email address again. And in the password, we put in the password we set up within SiteGround down here. And then in the pop server port, we go back to the SiteGround into the mail configuration and pop three port. We put in 995 into the box right here so we can select the drop down menu and select 995 and here i'm taking out the mail section and the dot because it shows in the site ground it is just the digital explorer for the outgoing server now you have the option here to leave a copy of retrieved message on the server if you want you need to click this one here always use a secure connection when retrieving emails you can label incoming messages and I'm going to take that one and I'm going to leave it at that. So next I add the account and my mail account has been added. And here it is giving us an option. Would you also like to be able to send mail as support at digitalexplorer.com? I do. So I'm going to leave it at yes, I do. But if you don't, you can obviously select no. I'm going to go ahead and select next. You can select your name here. I'm going to leave mine as the Digital Explorer. I'm going to leave this ticked treat as an alias and next step here in the SMTP server, we put in the outgoing server name again. So I'm going to delete this and enter the correct server name for my site. And then for the port, 
I get the SMTP port number right here, 465, and select it from the drop down, 465. I'm going to change the username to my email address and also enter the password once again. Secure connection using SSL, yes, and add account. And that's brought us onto this page here where we have to verify our account. It says an email with a confirmation code was sent to support at the digitalexplorer.com. So we need to log back into our SiteGround account and into our webmail. And here we are. Here is my confirmation code right here. I'm going to copy it and place it right in here and verify. And that's done. You can see right here, it's set up within our Gmail and you can check mail now. And it says one mail fetched. And I'm going to refresh the page. And now you can see here, I can send mail as support at the digitalexplorer.com. And you can select from here, reply from the same address the message was sent to when you were replying to a message. And as you will see in the inbox here, this is the same Gmail confirmation I received in our SiteGround email account. So we'll test it right now to make sure everything is working okay. I'm going to send an email. As you can see here, you can select your original Gmail account or the one you set up from SiteGround. I will select this one right here and also send it back to the SiteGround one. And I'm going to put in testing and testing and send and there we have it it comes in straight away so everything looks to be working fine and there doesn't seem to be any issues and we're all good to go if you have any questions at all please write them in the comments below and i will get back to you as soon as i can and please hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification for future videos just like this where i share helpful tips and info on how to make money online. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you next time. Take care.